Liam Neeson, Daniel Day-Lewis, Maureen O'Hara, Bob Geldof, Bono, Pierce Brosnan, Brenda Fricker. What do they have in common? Well, they are all successful in the entertainment industry and they are all Irish. Hi, I'm Jerry Healy and welcome to a St. Patrick's Day special feature, a celebration of Irish entertainment. On the day that the world becomes Irish, we shine a spotlight on the small island that has given the world some of the biggest names in entertainment. From the early days, Irish actors made their mark with a blend of Celtic charm and, in the case of Maureen O'Hara, classic beauty. One of Ireland's finest character actors, Barry Fitzgerald, was well known for playing lovable rogues and priests. In music, arguably the world's biggest rock band hail from Dublin and are led by Bono, who has been the frontman of the Irish rock band U2 since 1976. A former rat who fed the world, Bob Geldof was frontman of the Boomtown Rats. He had a very successful music career in the 70s and 80s and is now touring with his band The Happy Club. Shaken but not stirred, the quintessential Englishman James Bond 007 has in fact been played by an Irishman. Pierce Brosnan became the fifth actor to portray secret agent James Bond and wore the famous tux in four films between 1995 and 2002. His dangerous good looks have earned him the title of one of People magazine's 50 most beautiful people. Bad boy turned good, Colin Farrell starred in a string of movies since 2002, boldly going where no Irishman has gone before. Star Trek's Colin Meany plays Miles O'Brien in Star Trek. The next generation, she may only be 18. However, Saoirse Ronan is already a huge success. Since 2007, after co-starring in the film Atonement, for which she gained Academy Award, BAFTA and Golden Globe Award nominations for Best Supporting Actress, she has appeared in several Hollywood films. In 1990, she became the first Irish actress to win the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, alongside Daniel Day-Lewis in My Left Foot. Brenda Fricker starred in more than 30 films and television roles. From an acting career that began in the 70s, Gabriel Byrne has starred in over 35 movies, such as The Usual Suspects, Miller's Crossing and End of Days. Daniel Day-Lewis, known for his constant devotion to his roles, most recently he played the role of Abram Lincoln and made Hollywood history by winning a Best Actor Oscar for the third time. Since his role as Michael Collins in The Treaty, a television film, Brendan Gleeson has acted in films from Braveheart to Gangs of New York and the Harry Potter films. He's played everything from a Jedi to a German. Since his appearance in Schindler's List, Liam Neeson starred in movies such as Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, Michael Collins and Batman Begins. And finally, Richard Harris appeared on stage and in many films up to his death in 2002. However, to the younger audience, he will always be best known for playing Dumbledore in the first two films in the Harry Potter series. So, that's it, our very quick trip to the Emerald Isle for our St. Patrick's Day special feature. I'm Jerry Healy, see you next time.